It's been five years since OnePlus was founded and a lot has changed since the brand's inception. This is Sandeep from Revitalist. Let's take a look at the OnePlus One, the OnePlus 60 and everything in between to see how the brand has evolved during these years. The OnePlus One was the first smartphone from the brand and focused on the mantra of never settle which the brand claims that they follow till this day. The name OnePlus essentially implies that they are always one step ahead of others and their competition. The One was a stellar smartphone that has gone down in history books as being one of the greatest first attempts by any brand. The smartphone was powerful, had great battery life, a lot of customizability as well as uniqueness in the form of sandstone back especially, which was unheard of at the time. You had uniqueness also in the fact that you could choose between on-screen or hardware keys and also brought gestures to the masses. Well, not masses directly since the number of units sold weren't still as big as other brands but the result of OnePlus incorporating gestures was that other brands started doing it as well. Since then OnePlus incorporated the front fingerprint scanner with the OnePlus 2 but made it amazingly fast with ceramic setup that carried on all the way from the OnePlus 3 up until the OnePlus 5. The scanner was then shifted to the back with the 5T and 6 before finally being dropped in favour of an on-screen fingerprint scanner like on the 6T. The process of shifting the fingerprint scanner to the back starting with the 5T was a result of reducing bezels up front and that also meant that the hardware keys had to go. Back in those days OnePlus had an invite system. You basically needed an alphanumeric code to be able to purchase one of their phones and this was done as an alternative to flash sale method since they relied on Oppo's manufacturing division to make smartphones and they didn't want to risk overproducing neither did they want to upset users. Since then they have dropped the invite system altogether but their smartphones are still produced by Oppo and their smartphones are also available on open sale. OnePlus also kind of gets rid of the old units of the previous model before they launch a new one. More impressive is the fact that their smartphones are available to order the same day or within a few days after announcement and the rollout is global too. They're very much like Apple in that respect, a brand which Carl Pei, the co-founder, openly admits is an inspiration. OnePlus was founded by Pete Law who is the CEO and Carl Pei who is the director of OnePlus Global. They are part of a large parent company which also owns Oppo, Vivo and now Realme brands and is why they use Oppo's factories to manufacture their own as well. Not only are the factories shared but the technology too. Of course there is a degree of customization involved but the design especially of the R17 Pro and 60 are almost identical at the back and the resemblance is also apparent up front where the teardrop notch up front of the previously two mentioned smartphones and the Vivo V11 Pro makes them look very similar. Since the third generation OnePlus has been following a two smartphone launch per year, more actually if you include different colors in special editions, but the two launches per year is often criticized as being an excuse to increase prices. Back when the OnePlus One came out, it was available at a price of Rs 21999 and now we have the OnePlus 60 which starts at Rs 37999 and the top of the line McLaren Speed Orange Edition that's limited costs Rs 51999. OnePlus being one of the few brands that we see collaborate with other lifestyle, automotive or entertainment brands quite often has resulted in phones such as the OnePlus 5T, Star Wars, 6 Avengers Edition etc. Therefore we have seen a significant jump in terms of pricing but then again that's expected. Brands are in it to make money at the end of the day and everything else is secondary regardless of what they may tell you. OnePlus has also forgone their marketing term of flagship killer which it used to call as phones as now its smartphones are essentially premium flagships in their own right. We may soon see a pricing that goes head to head with the likes of Samsung flagships and that's how goodwill and brand value work. In fact in 2018 we saw the rise of Poco F1, Poco being a OnePlus competing brand from Xiaomi which seems like in 2018 what the OnePlus One was back in the day. There are a few compromises perhaps that the Poco has but then again that was also the case with the OnePlus One back then. Regardless of the price increase, OnePlus phones are still extremely reliable and are almost always the fastest phones on the market. They are one of the fastest charging standards too and have great UI and OS experience. There are a few misses in the form of ingress protection or IP rating and the camera setup too has become better but still isn't as good as other flagships and these are some points that they will have to address if they intend on increasing prices further. I hope they don't and I hope that they keep a comfortable margin with the likes of Samsung but only time will tell. In the past 5 years OnePlus has become a brand with a massive fan following and also one with a really active forum. OnePlus claims that it always listens to its users before they decide on what to do with their next smartphone and while that's true mostly, some decisions have to be made especially when the rest of the industry is actually following that way. And this includes the removal of the headphone jack and possibly even incorporating the fingerprint scanner under the display. OnePlus is now a billion dollar company. 
It manages to sell more of its phones in similarly positioned Apple and Samsung smartphones in some markets such as India and they also get extremely high ratings from users and reviewers alike. They may have changed their way of marketing and may have increased prices but they still at the very core produce great, reliable and efficient smartphones and hopefully that never changes. Thanks for watching this video. See you again in the next one.